Oh my gosh. Alright. We are going to try and see a couple of things. The last video I did... <coughs> actually, I can't even remember. I think I did... 2.7... Um, and now this is 4K, 60 frames a second, and we will see, well, I mean, it's got to be better, right? Um, if you watched the last video, you would have seen there was so much, like, artifacting in the shadows, and, you know, shadows, actually, something that was pointed out on a video um, that I watched recently, Nothing to do with video, uh, with filming actually, but um, uh, color in general. It's this guy that was painting um, uh, like three D printed figures and stuff. He was saying that the shadows are green, and um, you know, of course, because it's all like you'll notice that in that video where you see a. Um, when you see the artifacts and stuff come up, it is, it's the different shades of green in those squares. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, but also, I haven't really been doing much this, this um, like Christmas break. I haven't really gone anywhere or done anything. Um, what did Simone and I do? We went and went somewhere, I can't remember. But nothing, nothing crazy. Oh no, we didn't go anywhere. We stayed inside because it was storming and we had, uh, she put together a little charcuterie for us to share, which is lovely. The girl is very nice. Uh, yeah. But other than that, dude, I've just been staying home, messing with, uh, messing with the microphone, trying to figure, you know, different ways I can utilize it. Um, uh, playing fucking Xbox, which sounds crazy as, like, as a thing to, be, or this is what I did for my holidays, I played Fortnite, but <clears throat> in the couple of months leading up to now, um, I don't know, I was getting home so late, and just, like, not really having any energy, Got enough energy to like eat and jerk off, and that's it. So um, it's nice to get on Fortnite. Um, yeah, and it's good too because it's school holidays, obviously with uh, Christmas. So there's a lot of fucking young kids that are just easy pickings. <laughs> Make sure to get my uh, rank up before the season's over. <laughs> Which is pretty sad. Um, one thing uh, I probably haven't mentioned, um, uh, but you might know if you also have the uh, Osmo Action Camera, is HDR mode, uh, while it is very good at kind of balancing everything out, um, it has no stabilization. Excuse me. So it's um it's a toss-up. Uh because the thing is if I if I were to use HDR mode, um uh, the the highlights like the sky and stuff wouldn't get blown out like it just it's a way to um, it's a way to balance the lights in the dark so that you you know you don't blow everything out um, but having said that the way that I film is I secure the um, the camera onto the handlebars so it actually it moves a lot like you wouldn't believe how good the stabilization is compared to if I didn't have it on 
Um, yeah, that one's crazy. So, but the, the problem there is that, I guess, so many times you'll have a video where it's like, the street and everything is fine, everything seems like fairly correctly exposed, and then the sky's just white. Because it just can't handle that much, you know, difference between, in contrast. Um, what are we doing? Something is squeaking like hella loud on here too. I think it's the rear brake. Um, but it's not catching or anything, so I'm not so worried about it at the moment. And more than not catching, it's working. <laughs> Which is always the uh, the bigger concern is that your brakes just don't work. So, um, <clears throat> at the moment, uh, speaking of the scooter, no major problems, which is nice. Feel like I shouldn't have said that just then, but you know, uh, it'll be on camera. So, uh, I am not really. I'm not really in a position to buy a new scooter or no well that's a lot I could get another scooter but it's not um, it's not necessary um, but with the Carbo bringing out the Wolf GTR which is uh, if you haven't seen that that thing is crazy it's like a foot off the ground be good for me it would make me feel like a big man and all <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think that thing's gonna hit here at like seven, five, eight grand. Oh, I just can't justify that. Um, might be something I could work towards, but as long as I can keep this drawn going, then you know why? Why do that? And and I've also got a, I've got another scooter. Um, in my garage that I just don't use so you know I can't really justify looking at a third scooter you know. the problem with the other scooter is though I was actually thinking about it today um, you can get rid of it but um, it's kind of it's not the greatest construction and so it has a weak point in where the neck connects to the deck uh, the neck being you know like the steering column um, something in there internally snapped and when I took it to the guys uh, this was when I was getting stuff from uh, uh, Dubitz um, it's uh, like an electric scooter store in West End um, they were like, oh, you're going to have to replace this, replace this, replace this. And I was like, well, A, that's expensive and I don't want to do it. And B, it'll take too long. Because uh, that was my, you know, prime mode of transport. This is how I was getting to work. Um, and so I said to them, what's the, what's the chances of like ramming a, like a steel rod or whatever between these two pieces and just welding the shits together um and the guy was like yeah if you're happy for me to do it oh, i can do it that way that's fine and so i got it back in like i don't know probably like a week or something and it's fine um if anything you've actually probably reinforced a weak point there but just the It's so flimsy. Um, how much did I pay for that? I think I paid like sixteen fifty for that scooter. Um, you know, it's fast and whatever. Get the hill climbing ability on it is um, pretty good for what it is. It's too. Uh, I want to say 2,000 watt motors, so dual motor, um, dual motor, 
dual motive for speed, not such a big deal. I personally don't think. Um, because I mean, this is the, like, this scooter is a 12, two 1200 watt motors. This thing can go like 80 on one motor. Do you know what I mean? So, and like all the rental scooters, um, you know, your lines and birds and beams and all sorts. <coughs> Those drones only ever have one rear motor. And so, yeah, maybe they're not doing the same speeds, but those things are ridden way more than your personal scooter ever will be in its lifetime. So the whole, uh, you've got to use two motor, you're going to use dual motor all the time to spare your rear motor is a bit fucking nonsense, I think, personally. I'm no... Uh, electrical engineer. My uncle does though. <laughs> he, he would never do a video though. But it would be nice to hear about that. Ohms and impedances and all sorts. I literally, I only know what those words are. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, that was a tangent. I've completely forgot where I was. So, uh, yeah, there's no way for me to review what it was that I was talking about, so I guess I'll just leave it there. <laughs> We're coming up to uh, one of my favourite places, uh, which is uh, the Free Graffiti Walls. So I think we'll go down there. Let's go down there. Not any great rush or anything. Let's go and have a look and see if they've got some decent graffiti. Um, I did a little bit of painting for a while. <clears throat> uh, and I did do illegal graffiti. Um, but I only ever did it, well, that's not true. I was gonna say I only ever did it where you can't see. I did a couple where you could see them, but they're very out of the way. Uh, because, well, I, I didn't really, I wasn't trying to get known. Like I wasn't trying to be seen. I just wanted to try painting. Um, but yeah. Having the uh, legal, having the legal spot to go and try and practice and do whatever, even you know, for people to learn, um, is great. Uh, you definitely got to take a picture of whatever you do as soon as you're finished, because that shit's not going to last. Like it's a free spot. You got no, you've got no claim to it. So it's just. It's, uh, it's gone pretty quick. Yeah. I was thinking about getting back into it. Um, but I need to have a real plan. Um, I, I don't like the idea of going down, like going to the shop and buying whatever like 60 70 dollars worth of paint and then just going down there and trying to figure it out like i want to be shopping for color with a specific purpose not just ah uh, fucking see what happens that seems like um it seems like it would be a problem or just um I feel like you'd waste a lot of time. Scooter feels real buzzy, why am I? Oh, I had it, oh, the whole time I was talking about dual motor, I had it on dual motor. And I kept thinking, wow, it's really jumpy. <laughs> this is the old gun range. Uh, I could probably tell you some history about it, but people keep on drawing over this plaque. Oh no, here we go. Ekebin Quarry, 
Uh, they used it as a community rifle range. Sweet! But then, after World War II, Australia turned into a bunch of pussies. <laughs> nah, they're not all pussies, but... <clears throat> they've got some pretty funny uh, ideas about guns in the country. You know, people talk about uh, firearms ownership over here and they talk about protecting their sport. I'm like, just say you're gay. It's the fucking dumbest shit I ever heard. Protecting our sport. I mean, you can shoot for sport, but shooting is, it isn't a sport. Anyway. <laughs> So we're coming down into Ekabin Park here. Very nice weather today. We can go to the big walls, but I want to go to the little walls first. And holy dooly, there is a giant tree in the tunnel. What happened? Oh, I guess, yeah, we had a lot of rain here recently. So I guess this is just the aftermath of that. Man, that wheel is really squeaky. I don't know what it is. I'll have to check those bolts in a sec. So yeah, anybody can come down here, paint whatever they want on these walls. Oh, there's a lot of silt here now. Uh, nothing I ever painted down here will still be up because I haven't been here in months. I just realized it's probably not even showing anything because it's too dark. But uh, there's a few things here. Nothing crazy. Oh, that's very nice. Look at that. Cool shading. The old big Joker girl. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this is Ekaboo Park. This is where you can come and do graffiti. Legally. Not get in trouble. It's very cool. World ain't free. Right on, dude. Free Gaza? Fucking homos. Let's go. But, oh well, free speech. Actually, here's a funny thing. Somebody said to me on the internet, because of course nobody would say this to your face, but they said to me that Freedom of speech can't be a right because if somebody um, were to do something to stop you from being able to have, you know, to speak freely, then it's not a right. Um, that seems... I don't feel like that you can, like... For, uh, like, say, say if you were to say food is a human right, and then you, like, I don't know, stop somebody from being able to, like, you took their food away from them or something. Does that mean, just because they don't have access to food, does that mean then that they don't have that right? Or is it that you're impinging on it or denying somebody their right? Like, that's how I feel, at least. Like, I think, um... I think even though, <clears throat> I think, even though we have rights, we have, you know, God-given rights, 
Um, I don't think it's... I don't think um, somebody else infringing on those rights then dictates that that isn't a right. Then what does that make it? A privilege? I mean, because you could kind of say that because, you know, a privilege is something that you're allowed. A privilege is, is something that you're given. We're in, you know, the problem lies because <clears throat> Your rights are your rights are afforded to you simply by you being alive, right? That your <clears throat> your government can your government can uh, take measures to um, protect your rights. But they don't give you those rights. Or they, they recognize your rights and protect them. Or, you know, deny them. Um, yeah. It's, a, it's an odd thing. I ha, it just had me thinking for a while. And I had a similar kind of like uh, uh, back and forth with the guy on X like a ways back when it was still Twitter about a similar thing of just like how can it be a right if somebody can take it from you you, know, you have a right to life but people can take that from you fucking quick do you know what I mean? like it, it seems a it seems an odd thing to argue Man, we're really all over the shop here. <laughs> um, we're coming up to Wollongawa. Which is actually funny because I was just thinking... my The hospital that I work for has moved to Wollongawa. So um, it makes it a slightly quicker trip for me to get to work. Slightly. Um, but I'm just thinking they're redoing this. Uh, I'm just gonna fuck this guy. Why the fuck does everybody have a mullet today? Get rid of that shit. It's so fucking gross. Anyway, there is a bit of construction going on up here. And I'm thinking that if they start re like if they resume work on this construction when I'm due to go back to work, uh, this is really gonna fuck me up. Because <laughs> as we round this corner, you'll see so there's construction down there, all through here, and then. Uh, you dismount. I'm not dismounting. Um, somehow, there's this that we're just passing under now. But I don't understand how it connects to this bit of the road. And this is where I have to be to be able to get to work. Because the hospital now is just down the street here. Woo! It's very hot. I need to get a drink.
So right up there is Princess Alexandra Hospital. This guy's gay. Um, and then if you go two blocks up this way, that's where my new hospital is. My new hospital. The ho yeah, the hospital. Now it's time to go and fucking chase that dude down. <laughs> Oh, you can see it there, right in front of us. That white building. That's the, uh, that is the new hospital. Now let's go fucking bust this mullet. Mullet buster. Pussy. done this in a while but I used to take this just to avoid the congestion in the bike path um, it doesn't help by much but it also is just fun to ride on the road cops don't like it but I'll tell you what I'll, I'll, I've basically got a uh, unspoken deal with them so you catch me you can take me but until you catch me oh, I'm just gonna enjoy it <clears throat> That's really loud. Beep, 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 beep. I still don't know what it is. It could be, uh, could be the, the, uh, the thing that holds the brake pads. The caliper might be a bit tight. Or I could need new brake pads. Actually, I should just go buy some new brake pads. I wonder what time is it? It is 4.52, they'll be closed. Well, by the time I get there, they'll be closed. Now you might wonder why I'm not passing. That's because I can't see around the corner. Now I can, and now we go. I am sweating too. It's really gross. Normally what I do is put my uh, bag on the handlebars, but I just, I don't know, I didn't think of it. So I get a sweaty bag, but I'm not doing anything crazy anyway. I think I'm just gonna find a place to get a grab a drink. Maybe go down to the waterfront hang out for a little bit find some good uh, Instagram posts <laughs> it's very funny that Instagram is one of these things that see there it goes again Instagram is one of these things that when it first came out I was like that is gay why the fuck would I want to do that nobody wants to see this shit blah 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 but it's like everything, after a while you stop thinking about who wants to see it and just do I want to show it? Do I want to share it? And it's just like, well basically it's like my whole fucking YouTube channel, really, isn't it? It's just like, <clears throat> in it. It's just like, uh, I kind of, I don't really care if people watch anything I put up. Like really there's there's nothing riding on it do you know like i've got a real job not that content creation isn't i'm just saying i've got a what people would conventionally think of as employment um and oops 
And so the watching the numbers go up and down really is just, it's just about, it's just a fun thing. It's like playing video games. It's not real. It's just fun to see the numbers go up and down. <laughs> um, speaking of what, I've, I'm up to 358 subscribers. Check me out. Um, to be honest, I think this is mostly a bump off of like all the gun channels guys that um, I used to hang out with. Uh, you know, uh, all the, uh, the those different gun channels, and also that one time I got featured. Um, the one time I got featured on Roomy Officials. YouTube give me a little bump but not a bump like other people were getting they were talking about like the like thousands I think I might have got like uh, a couple of hundred new subs off that <coughs> actually probably more like 180 that's probably yeah that's probably right um, yeah, anyway, uh, I guess what I'm saying is, I'll just keep doing it regardless of what, you know, how quote unquote successful it becomes because the success of it isn't really why I do it, it's the doing of it that I enjoy. Um, yeah, and I did for a while, I did have the idea that, you know, maybe I should push it and maybe I should see what we could turn it into, but realistically it's not, um, it won't ever become a thing that I'll do primarily like it's always just going to be a fun